Well, we sure hope you had a great weekend. We saw some strong to severe thunderstorms. Some of you had to clean up some of that activity thanks to some damaging wind gusts. Other than that, beneficial rain for a lot of us as well. Not everybody get in on that activity, and we even saw some evening showers around uh, East Tennessee here on our Sunday. But as we get into our Monday, can't rule out a couple of spotty stray showers. Not expecting a whole lot. We're still getting that wraparound moisture, but the point of the story is it's going to be mild and kind of muggy on Monday, but drier air settles on in for the rest of the week. So we're really looking at a fantastic week ahead of us. Actually, as we get started on our Monday morning, we'll dip down into the 60s. It's going to feel really comfortable as we get the day started, and we'll have a few clouds hanging out with us throughout the day on Monday as well. So we start your future cast off at 7 o'clock in the morning, run you through the day. We'll call it hit-miss sunshine, partly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a couple of spotty stray showers. We still have a little bit of moisture and energy swinging its way in from the north and northwest. Other than that, the skies will begin to clear as we get into the afternoon, giving us those fair weather cumulus clouds by the end of the day. Most of the rain will likely be across the mountain counties, not expecting a whole lot of activity, but again, basically east and south of Interstate 40 and 81 will be our best bet to see a little bit of rain. So Monday morning, we start off with temperatures in the 60s. We'll climb into the mid-70s as we get into the lunch hour. Forecast high temperatures below average. Uh, north of Interstate 40 will be in the upper 70s to low 80s. South of Interstate 40 will be in the mid to upper 80s to uh, near 90 in Chattanooga with a heat index value probably close to 91 degrees in Chattanooga. But most of us won't have a huge heat index value, so therefore we'll take away a lot of that heat stress as we head through the day on Monday. So great news for all the kids that are doing practices and evening events after school. 75 degrees Monday evening by 8 o'clock. Not bad. 70 by 10 o'clock, and that's going to feel great. We're going to keep those temperatures below average as we get into our Tuesday, Wednesday. Plenty of sunshine and quiet and dry weather. Now, I want to show you dew points. So that's the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. Dew points uh, through the day on Sunday have been in the uh, 60s. We're going to stay in the 60s for dew points on Monday, but look at this dry air that sets up shop, and our dew points will drop a lot as we head into our Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So really a very nice fallish kind of week ahead of us. When you look at our dew point trend, again, Monday we're in the 60s, but we drop those dew points into the 50s and low 60s for the rest of the week. And that's what's going to give us amazing nights, amazing mornings, and not as much heat stress throughout the day. Not to mention, we're in just big blue bubble of no trouble. That ridge of high pressure is going to dominate, and that's going to, well, pretty much shut down the rain chances. So not a huge threat or chance or opportunity for much rainfall over the next seven days. Actually, we're going to take a lot of that rainfall out. Still hanging on to about a 20% chance for some afternoon showers on uh, on Monday, but not a huge chance for a lot. And as I mentioned, and we'll continue to mention, we desperately need the rain. Now, so far this month, we're sitting just shy of three inches, but our average for the entire month is 3.63 inches. So we only have about another half an inch to go where we get to those seasonal averages. And when you look at the rest of the month, we actually may be trending at or just below average when it comes to precipitation. All right, your temperature trend, we're going to stay below average. Average high is 88 degrees. We'll be in the upper 70s to low 80s for your Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Then we'll climb back to those seasonal averages by the end of the weekend, the weekend. When you look at a heat index value, not much of a heat index value whatsoever, thanks to the drier air. And continuing our, to look ahead by the end of the month from uh, when we're looking at uh, the Climate Prediction Center and temperatures, even though we are maybe trending on the drier side, we actually may be trending above average when it comes to temperatures as well. So we'll keep you posted on how that all plays out each and every day. You can do so easily by checking in with your daily forecast weather updates, 6 a.m. noon, 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. We'll do it at 7 o'clock noon, 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's a quick and easy way to get your weather updates. And, of course, we've got access to the only 24-hour weather channel here in town, the interactive radar, which, of course, we don't need much this week and check in with those temperatures from time to time as well. And if you ever want to join us for Wake Up With Witcher, it starts at 7 o'clock in the morning for a live weather update. We do it Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock, on all East Tennessee weather platforms. So come on in and check in. We get you out the door with a check of traffic, uh, your forecast, and we kick back, relax, and have a little bit of conversation amongst ourselves. So we hope you join us for Wake Up With Witcher, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning, or just online at easttnweather.com or through the East Tennessee Weather app. It's weather when you want it, my friends. Have a great night.